Well, nothing could sound less Christmassy than the blackbirds singing right outside um, our kit packing room. But what I'm doing right now is choosing the fabric to put on the back of the stocking. You will see that I've actually put a um, name on each of these two stockings and uh, that was really easy to do. I just used a cruel stem stitch and um, I've actually just put Granny Loves inside because that is what I did with the original stocking for the other one and as these are lots of cousins and friends that I'm making them for I don't want any competition about <laughs> who granny loves the best which would be really flattering but I don't think a very pleasant row. So the, my intention with this is actually to fold it down here tuck it under so the granny loves bit doesn't show it's on the inside this little secret and I'm going to put a furry top or a velvet top so that the um, stocking has a, a cuff on the top so I'm going to see if there's any sort of fur fabric I can find in my stash but I have found um, some really nice uh, ridgy cotton that was going to be um, a pinafore dress for a child, I think, but uh, never did. It's a sort of canvas. And then this, which I think is gorgeous. Um, I bought in a charity shop, but it's lovely. It's uh, a pure wool and um, it's the most beautiful colour. Amazing. So I'm very tempted to use that. I bought that for the Lady Anne Clifford costume project, but we didn't actually use it because it was a little thick and it wasn't just quite the right colour. So, um, and I found some velvet, which is marvellous. Um, and of course, I use velvet on the back of my cushions a lot, on my pillows, and another velvet. So these are both uh, proper, you know, silk velvet. They're lovely. Uh, and so they're very uh, lovely for a child to stroke. So I think that would be, might be rather nice. And uh, another terracotta colour. Now, on Isabella's stocking, the original, I actually used a lovely uh, piece of silk that I bought in um, Hong Kong. So as she lives in Hong Kong, I thought that was very suitable. And then I really quite roughly, because I was actually away at the time, um, I stitched a backing onto the back side of it. And, um, and then I just literally stitched them together. So you could cut out a stocking shape in your backing fabric and um, line it with something to stiffen it, if you're lucky enough to have that in your lockdown state. And then on the inside, um, it's really nice to have something very soft on the inside so that it's all very well finished because the inside is where they're going to put the presents. So uh, you don't want presents with the corners of little boxes to catch as it comes back up. So I'm rather regretting that Isabella hasn't got a nice fur top on her so I might make hers a little bit bigger um a little bit longer uh, as she will be growing she's nearly three now uh so anyway so there's Sienna's stocking Isabella's stocking and Ophelia's stocking and I'll come back later and show you what I've done